Hello friends, welcome to this video. This video is really important in terms of the exam. Today we will be doing the theorem about the dimension of A by U. Right? So before starting few things that you know. In the last lecture we discussed what the quotient map is. So you should know the definition of the quotient map. You should know rank nullity theorem really well. Right? You should know what the range is and what the kernel is. If you know all of this, then only you watch this video, please. Otherwise, you go to Google, search about it, write the definition. Still, if you find out some difficulty in understanding all these definitions, then you write in the comment box. I will make a personal videos for that. Okay, let's start. If you know all of this, we can start. Okay, so the theorem is if my V is a finite dimensional vector space, finite dimensional means what? It has some basis with finitely many elements. My V is a finite dimensional vector space or R. And my U is a subspace of V. That means V is also finite dimensional. Then my dimension of V by U is same as dimension of V minus dimension of U. Okay. So as I said in the last lecture also we will be using quotient map. Okay. So we, do, uh, we know quotient map pi from v to v by u v by u defined by pi of v bar is same as v bar per u is a linear map actually in the last lecture we have proved it is a linear map since it is a linear map by rank nullity theorem or you can say the fundamental theorem of a linear map or linear transformation we know that this map is from v na? so we know that by rank nullity theorem it, the dimension of v is rank plus nullity right so dimension of v the domain is same as rank plus nullity where rank is what that means what dimension of v is same as rank is what rank is actually nothing but the dimension of range of pi plus this nullity means dimension of kernel of pi right you should know what the range and kernel also okay after this only we can go through this or you guys can go through the video well okay? So after this, I think nothing difficult left. Now the next task is to find out what the range and what the kernel of pi is. Let's consider the range. Consider the range of pi. I'm writing in the bad handwriting, but it is fine. So how the range must be defined. There are always the two ways to define the range. Uh, let me define it in the simple way. So my range is nothing but pi x bar where my x bar is an element of v. I think it is simple, right? So this is nothing but a range of pi. Right? So what this is, is actually same as, by the definition pi of x bar is same as x bar plus u, where x bar is an element of v. If you observe carefully, this is nothing but set of all cosets of u, where the representative are difference element of v. That means it is nothing but the quotient space v modulo u okay so i found range of pi is same as v by u similarly i need to rub this part so please write everything pause the video and write everything till now now i'll be thinking about kernel of pi okay i'm just rubbing the proof so now we'll be discussing about kernel of pi now i consider Consider kernel of pi. What kernel is? Kernel, cons uh, kernel is nothing but the set of all elements which get mapped to the identity. Right? So, with respect to that, my kernel of pi consider all those vectors from V such that after applying pi on them, I get the identity element inside V by U. Correct? So I get an identity element inside V by U. And we know what is an identity element inside V by U. It is 0 bar plus U. Right? 
so it contains x bar inside v such that i just use the definition of pi definition is pi is x bar plus u is same as 0 bar plus u right so it consider x bar inside v such that this two cosets are same if and only if the difference of the representative that is x bar minus 0 bar that is actually same as x bar the difference of the representative is there inside u so this kernel of pi contain all the element from v so that that element are there inside u means it is nothing but v intersection with u since u is a subspace means my u is a subset of v and hence i can say intersection is nothing but u we found range of pi is v by u and we found kernel of pi is actually u so let us just substitute over here so after writing this you will write dimension of v is same as dimension of range of pi plus dimension of kernel of pi when dimension of v is same as dimension range of pi is same as v by u plus kernel of pi is same as on the place of kernel of pi we know it is same as u okay after this this goes to the other side we get dimension of v by u is same as dimension of v minus dimension of u if this should look like v okay. so it was really simple this is also v so by using the quotient map we can easily prove dimension of v by u is same as dimension of v minus dimension of. since it is a vector space this was a natural question to ask what the dimension is at the end of this section that means end of the videos when i will complete what the quotient map in all I will be doing a theorem which talks about the basis, the elements also. At the same time, we will see something similar. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to go through the link in the description box and give the quiz. Easy questions for you all based on the today's lecture only, this lecture only, you can say. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel and write something in the comment box. I will be really happy to see comment box with something written. Okay? Write your feedbacks. Okay? Thank you.